Hello, and welcome to the Source One Countdown to ISM 2017 podcast series. Consider us your on the go source for the latest insights in the procurement, supply management, and strategic sourcing industry as we get ready for the premier supply chain event of the year. In today's episode, Source One consultant Ken Ballard will give us tips on continuous cost reduction. Hi, my name is Ken Ballard. I'm a project manager with Source One Management Services. And today I want to talk about some best practices in supply chain as it applies to cost reduction with downstream suppliers. So cost reduction in your supply base is becoming a, a big thing in the industry over the past few years um, as operations and you know the management groups are realizing the important cost reductions within um, you know your company's supply base. So the analogy is oftentimes used that a dollar saved in your supply base goes directly to the bottom line, whereas a dollar added through sales, for example, has a bunch of chunks taken out of it, you know, due to overhead, um, marketing costs to acquire that customer, services, and just other costs included to get the sale. So driving cost savings in your supply base is an effective strategy to become more profitable as a company. So today, again, I want to discuss a few ways to achieve cost reduction with OEM suppliers and also discuss some common ways suppliers try to get away with, you know, annual price increases and um, just talk about some general ways to avoid annual price increases and, again, some best practices with driving cost savings in your supply base. So first, just to start out um, with the problem and the manufacturing suppliers old school of thought that basically each year they should be uh, publishing annual price increases. So the justification for annual price increases oftentimes varies from, you know, just costs went up due to inflation um, or, you know, our labor and overhead costs have gone up this past year. But it's important to, um, as a procurement professional, understand and get documentation uh, justifying price increases. So this doesn't mean, you know, just asking for high level justifications for price increases, but means obtaining official letters or memos of pass through costs, such as the cost of stainless steel went up 10%. So our costs to you, the customer will go up 10%. That's an example of a, you know, official letter obtained from a manufacturer that gives us transparency into why they're increasing our costs. Well, it's because the cost of the steel index went up, or it's because of the cost of the polyethylene index went up. Um, obtaining justification for, for price increases will kind of keep the supplier in line um, and avoid a scenario where they can basically just increase pricing um, whenever they want and just pass through um, basic justifications for such price increases. So in my experience, a majority of procurement professionals have gotten in the habit of negotiating on these annual price increases year to year. However, unknowingly, this oftentimes actually drives supplier behavior over time to pass through just like I mentioned, nebulous price increases in anticipation of these customer negotiations. So in other words, um, and this is reiterating what I had said, um, Suppliers oftentimes publish superficial price increases and then in turn reduce the price increase during the negotiation process, which I just mentioned, which still results in a net price increase. So for example, uh, the supplier's been conditioned that each year they've conditioned the client that pricing will go up. And the reason why they do that is because they know the customer is going to come back and negotiate on these published price increases. So therefore, they're going to have a superficial price increase of, say, 10% when their costs only went up 5%. And they know that they can take out of that 5% and still be padding, to their, padding their margins. So the remaining 5% that's superficial, the customer gets 3% off of that, and then they think of it as a success. They save 3%. But in reality, the supplier actually added 2% to their margins. Um, so this is not, you know, a very common um, occurrence, and you would hope that your suppliers, you know, are being transparent with you and are being honest and upfront. But a lot of times, um, this is what happens in the industry, and um, that's why it's important to ask for documentation. Get a paper trail as to any price increases of any sort, um, and, you know, again, it will keep them in line if you're asking for this paper trail. So once that understanding is gained um, and you know once you on a year-to-year -year basis are asking for um, transparency with any price increases, making sure that um, every price increase is justified and it's not just um, you know them padding their margins, the next level of achieving continuous cost reduction then um, can be undertaken. And Continuous cost reduction uh, and the next level encompasses a joint effort between the customer and supplier. 
So even if costs do go up for a supplier, um, you know, annual cost increases can be offset and or exceeded by doing three things. So number one, leveraging economies of scale. Number two, streamlining manufacturing processes. And number three, continually, look, continually looking for product and component improvements that result in lower costs. So just looking for design improvements that are more efficient um, in terms of the manufacturing process and therefore you can drive cost savings there. So I'm going to talk about all three of these um, strategies to achieve continuous cost reduction year over year rather than being subject to year over year price increases. Thanks for tuning in to the Source One podcast. Remember to visit us online at www.sourceoneinc.com. For more insights from our strategic sourcing and procurement experts, check out our blog at www.strategicsorcerer.com. Want to provide us feedback? Have an idea for another podcast? Let us know by emailing us at prrequest at sourceoneinc.com. Thanks for listening.